Six Asians versus one secret white guy featuring Zhao Man NYC. I don't know who that is. Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. I'm Asian. And I'm white. Hi everyone, I'm Lee. I sort of gotta always get confused with the uh with this game, bro. I always get confused with the rules of these games. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fully Chinese and I was born and raised in Hong Kong. A little fun fact about me in Cantonese is which is I did Chinese dance for 13 years. Hi, my name is Caleb. I'm Korean. W. I'm Caleb? I'm uh, Korean. Uh, AKA, I'm Korean. <laughs> <laughs> fun fact. That was the fun fact. Oh, that I'm was Korean. <laughs> His fun fact was that he was Korean. Mm. My name is Cammy. I broke my fourth finger at Chuck E. Cheese, so if I ever get married, it's gonna be crooked. My future husband, get it right. Hi everybody, my name is Kevin. Uh, I am Chinese American and- Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. What are we doing? <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, hi everybody, my name is Kevin. I'm Chinese American. Is he even Chinese American for all for all? And Guan Yu was a big fun fact. I was a very I only started learning Chinese in uh, the summer after high school, and I spent the year in China okay. and had just okay. an amazing, amazing time. And the more he knows 25 languages. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. You might be cooking. You might be cooking. The more that I learned, the more that I wanted to learn, and so I ended up getting really good at it. I really don't like eating cilantro, oh. which is Same. which is the Same. worst for if you're Chinese. Like, I mean, everything has got cilantro in it. Kevin seems kind of suspicious. Just What's wrong with cilantro? What sounds. the fuck? Bro sounded white. Um, so um, that means, hi everyone, my name is Ryan, and I really like eating preserved egg and minced pork porridge with dry instant noodle. Oh, what's your, what's your ethnicity? Oh, I'm Chinese, American. Okay. I forgot, I am 100% Filipino. Speaking of Filipino, mm. Mabuhay. I am Liara Fly. I am a proud first generation. Yes, Filipino. sir! I'm Asian talaga kami Pinoy. I'm here to represent Let's go the chat. Philippines along with Cami over there to prove that we're really Asian. Uh, hi, I'm Anusha. I'm South Asian. I'm from India. A fun okay. fact about me. Nanijot uh, kaltidde chikwaisali vai sakta akta marto. To be able to say subtitles, I learned I swimming when I was a kid, but then as I grew up, I forgot how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for everyone. What is the first thing you do when you enter someone's household? Pick up the period. Green flag. Some people. He didn't even answer. First thing you do when you enter someone's household. Take Pick up the Period. Green. 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 Bro didn't even answer, bro. Bro didn't even answer, man. What did, what did she say? I'll be honest, I didn't hear what she said. <laughs> Flag. Some people don't take off their shoes in my household, and I'm like, oh. I don't know how, but it's just she, she She said something along the lines of like, all right, we're going to prove that we're really Asian for real. Which I don't know if she's talking about how like Filipinos, um... The conversation about like if Filipinos are actually Asian, or are they Pacific Islanders, or are they closer to Spanish people than they are to Asian people. I don't know if that's what she's talking about, or she's just talking about yeah, we're not catfishing today, you know. So respectful. <gasps> I don't know how but it's just disgusting. That's a little rough. Oh, also, do you guys have home clothes? Like, do you guys? Oh yeah. yeah. Do you guys yeah. Have home clothes? Yeah. Home clothes. Yeah. 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 Do you like, not change into like you don't, home like clothes? My mom would always yeah, make like comfy wash clothes. clothes I need mean, yeah. you to shower before you get in the bed. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh yeah. Bed. Wait, what is the? Do y'all have that? Chat. Do y'all have that? Home clothes. I have home clothes. Uh, home clothes that aren't just PJs. Like for real, for real. I have certain clothes that I, you know, um. Typically wear when I'm going out, and then I have certain clothes reserved for just staying at the house. Y'all don't have home clothes, outside clothes, inside clothes. Like, for example, this hoodie right here is an inside cloth. Cloth. Piece of cloth. I don't, I don't fucking know, bro. Like, I don't, I don't typically wear this outside. These shorts, these shorts, I wear these indoors. Unless it's summertime. But if I'm going out, even if it's just to walk my dog, I'm putting on a different pair of pants just because of the weather. I'll probably still keep the hoodie on because um, I'm just walking the dog out. But, you know, 
the P word that any Asian kid wants to hear from their parents. Pocky. I'm oh, proud, proud of you. Of you. <laughs> Still uh, waiting for that day to come. Pocky. This dude's bad, bro. <laughs> Oh. Y'all been oh. to Kumon? <laughs> Kuma, no. Nah. Nope. Kuma, Kuma. The map. <laughs> oh my god. You were real. SAT prep. You are Chinese real. SAT prep. Oh, okay, Chinese school. You guys go to Chinese, Chinese school? I went to Chinese yeah, school. Yeah, every Saturday. Um, what's your favorite subject in school? Math. Biology. Okay. Hit me with some like extracurriculars because I did like Tahitian dance, I did cheer, wow. gymnastics. I did fencing, Chinese oh, dance, cool. swimming, saxophone, piano. Uh -huh. okay. How do you got Definitely time? Yep. She's literally Definitely Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> As a Filipina, obviously I sing. Do you do Tini Kling too? Huh? Oh, tini Kling. You don't know Tini Kling? I don't know. Uh oh. What is that? Uh oh. Oh, yes. Oh, with the she's going to cook. Like, okay, okay. No, she bounced back. She bounced back. No, guys. Yeah. No, guys. She bounced back. Um, for lack of a better term, for those who don't know, that's essentially Filipino tap dancing. All right. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show you. It's kind of hard, bro. It's kind of hard. Hold on. I'm going to show y'all. Watch, watch, watch. This is our national dance. Okay. Hopefully, this is a good example. I didn't used to do it. It's, it's, it's like tap dancing and jump rope. Hey. Shit, bro. I am not coordinated enough to do that shit. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. Kevin Kevin should be an easy out, bro. Like for real for real. For real for real. Number one, he didn't answer what um what's the first thing you need to do when you enter an Asian household. Number two, what's the P word you want to hear from your parents? Bro said pokey. And then motherfuckers just said he sounds white. Come on, dog. It's Kevin. Even if my if, even if my um eyes were blindfolded, no one else has said anything sus to the point where I don't say it's Kevin. Ryan, shout out Alhambra, but that's all I heard. A tie. Oh, oh word. Oh. Uh-oh. And the tie is between Ryan and Caleb. What? Oh, God, damn. So going back to it, so I'm Chinese. So my ancestor, like ancestral heritage, lies in South China. But my parents actually commute, immigrated to the U.S. from Vietnam. I've never had to prove how Asian I am because I grew up from a very um, predominantly Asian community in the San Gabriel Valley. All right. So I'm Korean. Um, I grew up in the Bay. Uh, there's a lot of Asian people in the Bay. Um, Daly City, huge, you know, Filipino community. But I just kind of grew up, you know, speaking Korean. So, 저는 한국 사람입니다. 나는 여기 미국에서 공부했고 이렇게. 나 이제 한번 보는 language card. 태어났어요. <laughs> Between these two, I'm voting out first, bro. I'm voting out uh, first, bro. 미국에서 태어났어요. 근데 한국말 진짜로 지금 못 했거든요. But 한국말은 할수 있어요. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, he's cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking. Yeah, I'm, I'm voting out first, bro, man. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't walk around, we'll bitch. get you. I was upset. I have never had to prove that I was Asian, but I guess I'm not Asian enough. Hey, 大家好,我是小马,记得要点赞这个视频,还有要订阅Jubilee. Now let's get back to the video. You know, I feel like Asian YouTube was a huge thing for the Asian community and, Ryan you know, a different place. Oh yeah, who, who y'all watch Wang Fu right here? Guava Juice, my fellow. Oh, Guava Juice? Guava Juice? You gotta be a child to watch Guava Juice. I'm not gonna lie, the Fung Bros, shout out to the Fung Bros, right? Shout out to Timothy De La Ghetto. Shout out to Timothy De La Ghetto. I think he changed his name to T uh, Timothy uh, Chatarangsu now or whatever. Kev Jumba, Ryan Higa. These are the goats right here, man. These are the goats. I think I Tori Kelly used to do music with a lot of Asian YouTubers as well. You know what I'm saying? So, these are the Asian YouTubers that I know, man. Okay. Noise. And you remember Fun Brothers? Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Did y'all remember Fun. Michelle Fun? Yeah. Makeup. Yeah. Community channel. Community? I was Do you believe? Oh, 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 yo, who was that dude that used to do those, um, those, like, uh, he used to do, like, short films of, like, action. 
uh, short action videos. I think it's something it was like something Wong, bro. And his channel used to have like four million subs, and four million subs was a crazy number. I think he was Chinese. He had like long hair. I don't know if chat even knows what I'm talking about, bro. Is it Kevin Wong? He had um. I think he had a show that ended up being on Netflix too or some shit, bro. It might have been Kevin Wong. It might have been Kevin Wong. Shout out to that dude. Uh, shout out to that dude too. Oh yeah, Jubilee. Oh Jubilee. <laughs> when they used to make short films. When they used to make Subscribe. short films. Okay, guys, I want to know what is your favorite part of your culture. Oh, the food. Oh. So much. I want to say food too. Indian food slaps. Mm -hmm. and okay. Food, food, and family culture for me, man. Food and family culture. But, missing it so much. I think food is a kind of obvious answer, but I think really just like, you know, being proud of what China has been able to build and become on the world stage. Every time I go to China with my family, it's just beautiful like to see the cities and how everything's developed. My personal favorite is honestly the people. They have instilled hospitality. I mean, every Filipina is a- Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not gonna lie chat. If, if y'all ever go to the Philippines, you might even, you, you might even be overwhelmed with how hospitable Filipinos are. Like, for real, for real. Um, Cause when I took my girl to the Philippines in August, it is customary for every single person to call you by sir and ma'am. Literally, like, at, when you're walking to the mall and um, you're asking, uh, I don't know, like a police officer for help, if you're asking someone who works at the, the food court for help, they will call you sir or ma'am. It's customary. It's, it's, it's just something that you do to be polite um, and by the end of the trip, my, my girl was like, bro, I am so tired of people calling me sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir, ma'am, ma'am, sir. I'm like, damn, you're just not used to, to real hospitality with your Boston ass. But, uh, <laughs> cause Boston got some rude ass people, but. A nurse. I gotta be honest, Everybody I'm not a nurse. nurse. I'm sorry, Papa. I was gonna say I like Hong Kong yeah, because they, of how yeah. multi, like, international it is. Did you go to international school in Hong Kong? No, I went or? to a fully local like school. You sound really American. I mean, it's something that I get on a day-to-day -day nah, basis. The gas my light. friends the gas tell light. me I sound American. My white friends tell me that I sound whiter than them. And I'm like... Nani? Do you have a least favorite thing about your Oh, I mean, I grew up in the Korean church. A lot of gossip happens over there, so there's always a little thing about, like, the Korean church and stuff. Piggybacking off of what they had mentioned, we call it manga chismes. They're just gossips. Like, they speak behind your back, and a lot of times it will be to family members. So I think while we do have a great heart, sometimes we're not as <laughs> kind to each other. My least favorite thing, I think, um, is colorism sometimes. Oh, and mm -hmm. the beauty standard mm -hmm. is, you know, a lighter complexion is more beautiful, more gorgeous, but I, I love the skin that I'm in. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, chat. I didn't re re really realize what colorism was in Filipino culture until I came to America and had more discussions about like what colorism is. And then I reflected back on what my experience was in the Philippines, and I'm like, damn. Yeah, majority of like our top celebrities really are like light skin. You know what I'm saying? Um... Like you don't you don't see a lot of people with um darker complexion at at the top of the top for real for real, and um also I don't I don't necessarily know if it's colorism or if it's just like Filipinos um glorifying foreigners because we we talked about it in the Nico video like they will let foreigners talk about <laughs> like do whatever the fuck they want um but yeah a lot of our top celebrity too are. Or biracial. I'm gonna just keep it a bean. Like, um, uh, like even even when you find out someone is Philip has Filipino heritage in America, it's never like oh they're just full Filipino. It's always typically it's, it typically is white and Asian. Aside from Batista, it's typically white and Asian. Um, and hell, I even know more um black and Asian um. By black and Filipino specifically, black and Filipino biracial people than just full Filipino celebrities. But now content creators might be different because shout out to Valkyrie. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Valkyrie. Uh, shout out to uh, shout out to Bella Porch. But. Hey, shout out to Rico for the three months, man. Why I was getting ads, smiley face.
don't know if like in Korean or Filipino culture it's the same, but like in Chinese culture, people can be super direct about your personal appearance. Oh, ni pangla, like you're fat now. All <laughs> I of got fat shaped like, by my mom yesterday. Where'd you get all those pimples from? I don't want to get canceled. My mom called me fat last week. <laughs> nah, bro. Every time I FaceTime my mom, my mom's always like, Ryan, get in the gym, buddy. You're looking fat. Take care of yourself. I know I'm not there with you, but take care of yourself. I'm like, mom, damn, you were on dick. Like, that, god damn. I was just, I was just calling to say, what's up, mom? How's life? How are my sisters? How's dad? Hmm, Brian. Hmm. Like, god damn, bro. Jeez. I be getting big by my mom, man for saying this a lot of it is still like patriarchal and it's so normalized like you know you see someone walking by it's so okay to like fat shame them or like like say oh they're so dark why they're here like that happens a lot <laughs> mom i love you shut up porgy <laughs> i'm gonna go back to it i think kevin just sounds more it's still it's still kevin to me because even his answers he never and rightfully so because he's not but he never claims to be even Chinese American. I aside from like his initial statement, like all of his statements is, ah, oh, just, you know, every time I go to China, just the progression of the country is insane. Kevin is cooking though, because he tried to gaslit one of uh, the other women. So now the heat is on the, the other woman, you know, so. I'm gonna go back to it. I think Kevin just sounds more white. Caleb, from the very beginning, I was like, <laughs> I gotta get him out. He has to leave. Ah, damn. <sighs> damn, I, I really wanted the money. <laughs> Gas is expensive win, in California. So please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. So at this point, I'm the only guy in a group of girls. So I felt like <laughs> I was in the hot seat, and then I was thinking maybe the only other person who, was, who people could 25. be suspicious of was Leanne. <laughs> Leanne, do you speak Mandarin? I do speak Mandarin. I will speak a little bit. Oh, cook, cook. Yeah, I can speak. Cook, cook, cook. It's like a little bit. It's Oh, like, like, no, yeah, no I'm not deedal at all. Because uh, I learned Mandarin at school. It was like a prerequisite. So uh, my mother tongue is Cantonese. I speak multiple languages. That's a but part of growing up. The thing up is like, yeah. you can always learn a language. You yeah, yes, I feel like Chinese yeah. has that a lot of, true. you know, demand. Yeah. Chinese is a language that a lot of people want to learn or is in demand. So I kind of had an idea that it would be someone that spoke Chinese. That would be the mall. Maybe it's Kevin. What do you call your parents? Like, how do you refer to them? It's a very personal name, but I call my mom Mimi <laughs> and my dad Bobby, That's which is my like... Chinese name. <gasps> Mimi, Ki really? like Kitty. Sometimes I'll call them Chinese Ba Ma. To be honest, like a lot of times in English. I'm gonna be honest. I just call them mom and dad. <laughs> well, I call my mom Ma. Ma. Can I? Yeah. And dad's just dad. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but in the Philippines. People typically call their dad Tatai and their mom Nanai or Inai, you know, but yeah, it's typically Ma and Dad. <laughs> Weird combo, but... My dad actually doesn't speak great Chinese. Mommy and then my grandma is Mommy Old. I don't call him like Tai, like oh. Tatai. No, 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 you're good. What did you think I said? What? Oh? I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> tai is like short. Uh-oh, uh-oh. She self-sabotaged herself, bro. She said mommy old. <laughs> mommy old. Look at Kevin. Look at Kevin. <laughs> I just got to sit back. <laughs> They're cooking each other. That that, which I, I got to be honest. I don't call my my folk that. I go mom, mom, mommy, mom. At one point, I was actually suspicious of Cammy. I don't think she was that fluent in her own language, which I understand it's like you don't have to be fluent in your like native language. So Kev definitely who plays do among we us. think is the hottest Asian, like Asian race? I would say Chinese, but you know, when I ever see Bollywood movies and like the Indian actors in those, I mean, some very good looking men and women, yeah. <laughs> Can I give a amazing. shout out to Dave Patel? Dave Patel. Dave Patel. Shout out. But I also started watching k <gasps> I was gonna say, <laughs> Korean <laughs> men <laughs> are so attractive. Filipinos. Yeah, yes, okay, right. technically Chinese, speaking, yeah. Miss Universe. Come on, man. We have Come four on, man. winners from the- Come on, man. Come on, man. You dominate the world stage. Come on, man. Four? Four? 
Who said they got? F Who can say they got four? <laughs> Come on, man. We got Valkyrie, pussy. Eat dick. Philippines, and I hope to be Miss Universe one day. There you go. Kevin, we love you. Kevin, you're so <laughs> Chinese and I can feel it. I can feel it. I can I literally feel the entire China behind you. Confidence. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. I knew for a fact that every woman in this little box was Asian and I knew that from my heart. This is the destination, so end it here so we could all win. All right, this is going to be a power round. I voted not. I, I vote or not either. There's still someone. Just say who. who Just say who. who. Just, it's either the other two. Who? But, uh, like me and two. you, Kami. Girl. But Kami is like, she's Filipina. Can, like, she's can my sister. Can she trust. like feel me or something? <laughs> Yana said, like, you learned a lot of different things in school. As humans, I don't think it's possible to do like 30,000 things just because, like, the stereotype oh, is that talking about me. Community. I didn't do them oh, wow. at the same time. That's all, like, <laughs> The oh, extracurriculars like I accumulated over the years. Like in fencing, I did it from um, grade four to five. And then saxophone, I've been doing since I was like grade three to like. You're self sabotaging, last year. chat. Also, I feel like Cami, because you've been talking a lot, expressing your views on Philippines a lot, like you did your research on it. That. What it? You know, be crazy, chat. <laughs> what if they got a Mo who had a fake Indian accent, bro? Because <laughs> the only reason they're not looking at. Oh, they're not even considering the Indian chick is because of her accent. Like, there's no way that could be fake, bro. That would be crazy if they had a more that had a fake Indian accent, bro. That would be insane. She feels like my cousin. Aww. So, like, honestly, I think it's Leanne. I think I don't. I don't know I'm what sorry. I need to do. Like, I am. I'm fully Asian. It was another tiebreaker. The people who have the tiebreaker, Amy and. Leanne. I'm here to state my okay, case. Wait. I'm Asian. Um, I'm Chinese. I'm at parties. <laughs> yes. What is karaoke song? I have nothing. Whitney Houston. <laughs> I don't really need to look. <laughs> I feel like Gabby. <laughs> Ask me any questions about karaoke my song. like Hong Kong, my culture, my heritage. I feel like those would be too rehearsed if I, <laughs> I I have never had anybody question my how like Asian I am. I like know. I, I, I know this is a bit traumatizing. <laughs> if this becomes another tiebreaker, we eliminate two people. Oh. Two people eliminated. Oh! Ooh. I was like, girls, like, what? I mean, I was a little offended because I never had to prove that Damn. I was Asian. Damn! Um, but it's all fair game. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. You have won the game. Wait, Let's can go. I give you a high five? Yeah. Wait, oh. we win. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have so many kids with Leanne. Is this Leanne? I already forgot the names. Can't even look good though. Oh my god. Caleb, I knew it. Oh <laughs> shit. I'm Xiaoma. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm Chinese. Yeah, I can speak Filipino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of crazy because I actually seen his videos before. I think it was a really good surprise. Oh, wow. Wait, Omid, 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 Omid TV? Watches you. I, watch yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen him. Yeah, you might have, yeah. Yeah, it's possible, mm -hmm. yeah. My real name is Ari. On YouTube, I go by Xiaoma, which is my Chinese name. I lived in Beijing for a year. I learned, you know, Mandarin pretty good. I speak some Cantonese too, actually. I still don't know, you know who that I've guy is. living though. in and around Chinatown, New York City for many years. My wife is also from China, so um, I'm a full-time language learner. I've studied probably over 50 languages at this point. Spend my days learning languages and then going around speaking to people in different languages and they get- How do you, how do you monetize that, bro? I mean, obviously he's gotten to a point where he can be like a one-of-a-kind creator. So I hope he's a content creator, but how do you like, how do you make that a job, you know? Like if, if you weren't a creator, how do you make that a job? Cause learning 50 languages, you don't just, that's not just something you do part time, you know? I get surprised. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my God. I, I, 
<laughs> that is way more than 25. We didn't get to Actually, it might just be once. It still might be 25. <laughs> Teacher. True. True. W video chat. That's a W video right there.